Hello Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 pilots, welcome back to another very brief video. I just thought I'd make this video because I've seen so many people complain about this on forums and on social media. And in fact one of my friends actually complained about the same thing. And that is the situation where you're pressing a button on your joystick or your throttles or something like that. And although you've mapped one thing to it, something strange happens like the camera pans around or another control surface is affected by that button press. Well, it's, it's really, really simple. You just simply need to go into your controls and configure the correct controls. So, just as an example of what I'm trying to say, I'm going to take off here in the... Uh, I'm in the Bonanza at Southampton, and I know I've got a control issue with my trigger button, so let's just take off and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I've got another player there as well. I've got the live traffic on. So we're just going to take off in the Bonanza and I'm going to show you exactly what happens and what could be happening to yourselves. Um, like I say, I've seen many, many complaints about this on social media. And yes, I've said already it's uh, very finicky, the control system, how you set it up. However, it does come down to user error. It, it really does. Um, you've just got to go in, bite the bullet and configure your controls once and for all. So you can see now I'm climbing out, I've got a positive rate of climb, so I'm just going to click on my trigger button. And you can see the camera just moves there when I click the, the trigger button. So my gear is down, is, is up, sorry. Uh, let's just check that out. My gear is up now, uh, but it has also affected the camera. Now let's just pause this in. And let's go into my controls and see exactly what's going on. So when you're in your controls, again, make sure you're on the correct item, the correct peripheral at the top here. So I'm on my uh, T-Fly Totus X. Make sure you go over to All on the filter. And let's just see what's happening with uh, that particular uh, trigger button. So here's what my friend did when I went round to see him last night. So he just typed in landing gear. And he said, well, look, I've, I mean, it wasn't the landing gear, but I'm just using this as an example. Look, toggle landing gear, I've got button number one, which is my trigger, assigned to this particular task. Okay, yeah, that's fine, but that's only actually going to show you um, exactly what you've typed in, isn't it? So what you actually need to do, you need to approach it from a different angle. So let's just clear this here, and I can see that my trigger button over here is number one. So I just need to search for an input, number one, and you can see it's actually designated to two different tasks, and that is why when I pressed the trigger button uh, just then, you saw the camera move. Now, it was toggling the smart camera, so all we need to do is just delete that assignment. So select it, clear the current input, and validate it. And that is it, it's fixed. Uh, you won't get all these awkward movements with cameras, uh, you won't get different things happening like I've seen on some forums. I'm pressing this button to do this, but then my flaps are extending, etc. Um, this going in and, and taking some time just to set up, just set up once, that's all it takes, and then you're good to go then. Um, you're not messing about in the future. So again, just come into your controls. Uh, don't search the control by name. Search it by the number or the number assignment and see what else is assigned to that. Uh, particular button press or key press. Okay, I really hope this has helped some people. Um, if it has, just give me a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment if you want. And I might see you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.